This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 19, starting at verse 2. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Kol Haloyim, La Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Archa, Kodash Barkathom. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and sincerity, risking their lives and the freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwa, any Akim out there listening and learning. Laura willingly, this is an edifying video. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of the other nations, appearing like the other nations, but subscribing to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. This is the brother Yahweh Sop out of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant, coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And basically, um, I wanted to do a quick video on um, an article. It's kind of older, but, you know, it's still relevant. Um, it's at the end of the day, it tells you in Scripture Matter of fact, I got I, I got another scripture. Bear with me for a second. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 12, starting at verse 25. And Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. If Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? So right now, you literally living in a time where you got these Edomites' kingdom divided. You got certain people who voted for the Biden and are upset that they doing these recounts and all that. You got certain people that are with Trump. So this is a quick article out of um, news break. Um, it says thousands of pro Trump supporters descend on DC for million MAGA March near white house. It's Fox news. It was um, yesterday. It says tens of thousands of president Trump supporters gathered Saturday in Washington echoed claims of voter fraud and urged him not to concede to president elect Joe Biden. And that is another thing too. It tells you in the book of um, the apocrypha about how um, the judge is the city, how the judge of the city is the people are. So if you got these corrupt ass people as your leaders, the, the, the king been going to be wicked. You know what I mean? You know, um, me and the brothers was bringing out at camp, I think it was past week, about how, you know, um, the game Monopoly. You know, when you go into Monopoly, that's a game. The game doesn't end until one person solely owns everything. And you're looking at the monopolized places like Amazon and um, places like Walmart, you know. Well, during that pandemic, these places made a lot, a lot of money. You know, um, brothers bring up Demolition Man. You know, Taco Bell was considered fine dining in that movie. So, you know what I mean? That's what they want, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you got this kingdom divided. You know, like I said, you got all these Trump supporters saying, no, don't concede, <laughs> you know. And, and like the brother was bringing out that camp, which is the truth, he was like, uh, you know, Trump really was trying, is really trying to make this place great again when it's foretold. That's how you know this is all spiritual, you know. At the end of the day, you know, he, he, he really... Although the elites wanted a certain kind of way, and, you know, he's a puppet, ultimately, he really did put energy trying to make this place great again. That's why you had all them app-based jobs. But, Salaki, so not to digress, it says, then were, it says, voter fraud and urged him not to concede to President-elect Joe Biden, then were rewarded by appearance from Trump himself. The president and his motorcade drove past the supporters, some of them waving Trump flags and holding signs saying, stop the fraud and best prayers ever. The crowd chanted four more years as Trump gave thumbs up Saturday morning. So that energized him too. And that's probably why, like I said, they're not, um, it's going to be bad anyway. You know, you can see the tension already in the air. You know, I work at a job right now and we were speaking on that. It's a brother that listens on the other side, and he was saying, it was so funny, that's how you know it's spiritual. He's going through a similar thing at his job, but you can feel the tension in the air. You can feel the tension in the air with this whole presidency. You gotta remember, a lot can jump off before, you know, um, January the 20th. You know, like I said, you got a certain state recount now, and if that state, it comes to find out that the hold up the numbers ain't right, where other states is gonna actually do that? It says, Trump hinted Friday on Twitter he may attend the rally calling the support heartwarming, but his motorcade said he was headed to his Virginia golf course instead. As he returned to the White House shortly after 3 p.m., he drove by to more cheers and whoops from flag-waving supporters. And as you can see, and then they said it was millions, it was like, they said they really was going to try and do a million-man march, you know, because you got people, 
Come on, I mean, you know, I never brought the article out, but you you had like one of the the chairs of the um, Proud Boys literally say that Trump receded the um, the order to stand down and stand by. So meaning that mean they on the watch and ready, you know. And I could believe that literally that's not made of a f- f- um, f- fictitious because I recall when Trump claimed to, came to Cleveland and you had. Uh, groups of like retired military that literally were patrolling around the city, literally. Trump retreated images and videos of the two of Trump supporters and reiterated that he had no intention to be defeated anytime soon. Hundreds of thousands of people showing their support and he said they will not stand for a rigged and corrupt election. Twitter labeled the tweet with a warning that Trump fraud claims are disputed. His campaign has yet to provide evidence of the systematic fraud he has alleged. But then I heard Elder Malcolm say that literally, like, they got paperwork and documentation. And, you know, it was some shit to it because, like they said, you had these voter boxes. I did a video on it. Voter boxes that literally aren't supposed to be moved because of the fact, you know, where the point is if you move or tamper with them, this is such a supposed to be a serious matter that you can be actually um, – What's the word? Um, like, not penalized, but um, basically, like you could be prosecuted because that's how much how serious these Edomites and you, you know, you gentilized, you you gentile, uh, gentilized uh, Israelites that believe in the system believe to the point that like if you mess with my right to vote, you know, because you know they had the whole. Um, the idea of, you know, you had so-called blacks die to try to vote. So that's why black, the so-called blacks push it so hardly. But like I said, at the same time, people don't even realize you have a whole electoral college vote that actually um, produces the president. You know, so that whole voting system is just an illusion of like you, uh, giving you the illusion that you have a say so in this corrupt ass system. It's, it's not a group of people that... Well, it's a group of people, but it's not a big number of group of people. Just like you got a, a elite group of people that run the world, you got an elite group of people that pick the president. That's why you get the electoral college vote. It says, um, Twitter labeled the tweet with a warning that Trump's fraud claims are disputed. His campaign has yet to provide evidence of his systematic fraud he has alleged. Trump added, we will win. The latest vote tallies from November from the November 3rd election show massive turnout and flux of mail-in votes due to the coronavirus back then. And that's confusion right there because, like you said, this is the first time in history that you had them doing actual votes in, in, um, in person, but then also mail-in votes. So, you know, for you, them to even show that it's a winner when you're still waiting on the bell and votes just show... And, and, you know, brothers literally said this is going to happen. The brother from... Um, you, you um, literally have a lot of people literally um, saying that, like the brother from Men of Valors was saying that, that literally is going to be confusion based on because you got the the um, mail-in ballots and whatnot. It says Biden has garnered more than 78 million votes, a record compared to Trump's more than 72 million. And that's not even the whole country. The country is like 200-something plus million. If only 150, 160 million voted, that's showing you how many people, like, fuck this shit for real. The former vice president is on track for more, for more than 290, and there's the spirit, uh, 290 electoral votes compared to Trump's 232. Georgia's one state, Fox News has not called, but Biden's winning the impeach state as a hand recount is underway. And Washington Saturday, a march for Trump's dem- demonstration organized by women for America's first state started at Freedom Plaza and headed to the Supreme Court. An uh, estimated 10,000 people were, atis- were anticipating according to a park permit. The crowds filled the streets all around the White House. Uh, it's kind of a long article. Uh, I don't think I'm going to read anymore. So if you want to check into the article, you can. Um, but basically just showing you the division. Um, it says, this is the, no, I don't want that. It's a lock here. Uh, this is the book of Matthew. Chapter 24, I'm going to start at verse 7. 
And he, he shall hear of wars and rumors of war. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Because you're hearing about these wars and uprisings and whatnot, but the end is not yet because it's other prophecies that have to come to play. You know, um, a major prophecy that we're all waiting on is that mark of the beast, that, that the RFID chip that, to be implemented. And they're starting, that's the, the precursor to that is this vaccine. When they're making it mandatory to take a vaccine the first time in history, what do you think is going to be when they actually come with this chip? It's going to be mandatory. Um, it says, for verse 7, Matthew 24 and 7, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrow. So you're beginning to see these times that we're in, and that's why it's talks about how important it is to be circumspect, watching, praying, and, 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 and ready for the time at hand. And, well, you know, with this, like with the groups of people that are actually upset about, you know, they feeling that um, it, Trump is being robbed and that the, the Democrats are doing something um, fraudulent, that's going to make them uprise against their government. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15. I'm going to start at verse... Um, 14, woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. And you about to see these Edomites draw up with swords in their hands against this system, this, this their kingdom. That's how cold the Most High is. He's going to make Esau tear up his own kingdom. It says, for there shall be sedition among men. And sedition is basically uprisings. People are going to be going against their authorities. Their government, Esau, is going to go against Esau. And that's why I brought out the Egyptians will be against the Egyptian in Isaiah 19. For there shall be sedition among men, invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So at the end, they, they're not going to regard what this government is saying. You know, they, they're trying to do a second lockdown. You're about to have a lot of Edomites as well as other, you know, Gentiles and the other nations that's believe that they believe in the system, so they believe they have rights and freedoms. They're about to stand up and buck against this order of these new lockdowns. You got Edomites on TV saying, my business cannot suffer another lockdown. And me saying that literally on the news, they're not going to comply. So with that, may the Lord come visit this place. Um, may, if you're a so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, cinema, inner, Seminole Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, may you come back to the law, statutes, commandments of Yahweh, Yahweh, or be destroyed. And with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Rachako, that's what thumb. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who were well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth for faith and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so. Shalom to the Akwat and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, it was an edifying lesson. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of the other the nations looking like the other nations who are subscribing to this truth to you i say shalom until next time lord willingly shalom shalom and mawath laba ball shalom